Hi guys, welcome back to ASX Market Watch. Thanks very much for joining me today. It's um, There's a, a new technique that I want to talk to you about today and exactly how it's appropriate to the market and exactly where the market might be heading according to this new technique that I want to show you. Um, obviously, it's not a new, new technique. It's been around for 120 years or so, but it's great to check it out in relation to the current markets. Really exciting stuff. Um, and also, where the market is heading uh, according to where we said it would last week and over the last couple of weeks, uh, the market has done exactly what we wanted it to do, which is always nice. <laughs> it does happen occasionally, <laughs> which is always good. So let's get into it, guys, and thanks heaps for checking out the markets with me today. I must say, it's really good to have you. So this is an all ordinaries chart, um, the XAO weekly. Um, I'm just going to turn into a daily chart. So here we are, every single bar, one of these bars is one day. And what happened last week and over the last couple of weeks? Well, the market crossed our trend line and made a higher trough and a higher peak, so a little zigzag formation upwards. Now that was the signal to myself for as a buy signal, um, or as in a, a, an upward m market movement signal. And what has the market done? The market has gone up, fantastic. <laughs> so that's really, really good. And what does that mean for us in the future? Well, on the um, All Ordinaries in Australia, we've got, um, it's still above its short-term uptrend line. So on a short-term basis, the market is still in an uptrend. Um, really, that's all that can be said about that. Now, the next part about um, the All Ordinaries that I really, really want to talk to you about is another part of Dow's theory. So obviously, Charles Dow, he's one part of the Dow Jones Index. Um, he was around in the late 1800s, and he formed a whole bunch of writings that um, that spoke about the market and, you know, the movements of the market and how to, to sort of predict it over time, um, at least in some ways. Now, the main way that I used to, or still use, is on a weekly chart, um, it's like a, that zigzag action down or the zigzag up. So a higher trough and a higher peak, or a lower peak and a lower trough. Um, now, that's a really simple way to look at Dow, one part of Dow's theory. The other part, though, is his three waves. Um, so, the three waves that Dow talks about is, um, is in a bull market especially, which is like we're sort of seeing the, um, the bullish moves start now. The first part of the three waves is renewed confidence. Um, then it goes to improved earnings, and that's the second phase. And the third phase is ramp rampant speculation. So what I feel at the moment is that because we're coming into earnings um, period at the moment, we could be coming into the improved earnings phase. And that will give us a nice bull run up, hopefully, if I just uh, increase that a little bit, there's a good possibility that the market will head up from here. In improve, if improved earnings come to the come into play, and that could happen all around the world, especially because the earnings were not that good last year, um, and definitely not the year before, and so really all we've seen is imp is renewed confidence over the last sort of 12 months, and hopefully now we're going to see the improved earnings, and then eventually we'll see also rampant speculation, and that's when you know to probably get out of the market or to look for exit signals. So, really simple way of looking at the All Ordinaries. The Dow Jones as well, guys, just really, really quickly looking at a, a daily chart. This is every uh, one bar is one day. What happened over the last couple of weeks? Um, well, I'll just get rid of that. There we go. Yeah, so the trend line, downtrend line was crossed, and we had a higher peak and a higher trough. So, um, yeah, literally the market has headed up since then as well. So the market's done exactly what we wanted it to do and what we said that it would. Um, again, yeah, it does happen, um, especially if you use solid back-tested rules on the market, which is what I prefer to do. Oh, which brings me to the next one, which is the Hang Seng. Um, now, I know, guys, this is just one of the greater things because I did give an Elliott Wave prediction on this one a couple of uh, weeks to a couple of months ago. Now, um, what we were looking at was a an A, B, C correction here. And also, this is on a really much longer term basis, guys. So like a, on a longer term Elliott Wave predictions basis. Um, now, that was where I called the bottom of the market for the Hang Seng. Um, it did stumble a little bit, but now it's really it's really starting to kick a lot of butt, basically. <laughs> it's starting to head upwards, which is fantastic. Um, the target for Elliott Wave um, on the Hang Seng is, if I just increase that a little bit, so this is over the last couple of years, um, we were heading, so we had Wave 1, Wave 2, whoop, 
wave three, wave four, and then wave five would bring us up to about 25,000 to 28,000. So at least that's the possibility on the Hang Seng, according to Elliott Wave. Um, still got the resistance at 22,000, of course, so long as it gets past that. Happy days for the Hang Seng. And the last one, guys, is the FTSE, just really, really quickly. Um, and again, like, same thing on the Dow Jones and on the FTSE, guys, because we're looking at very similar things. Um, we've got our, our renewed confidence, um, possibly seeing the, um, the improved earnings. Um, the FTSE may be a little bit more uh, mature than the All Ordinaries market, that's for, so for sure. So hopefully, um, depending on if they've seen rampant speculation, um, really, that's, I'm not over there, so I don't really look at the news, so I don't know. Um, but at least on a short-term basis, um, the FTSE is still in an uptrend. So as you can see, we had our downtrend line, which was crossed, had a higher peak and a higher trough, and the market is still above its uptrend line, um, and it hasn't yet made a lower peak and a lower trough. So even though the FTSE is looking the weaker out of the Dow Jones and the All Ordinaries at the moment, um, yeah, it still is definitely in a short-term uptrend. Uh, one last thing, guys, as well. Last week we looked at the um, All Ordinaries and the William O'Neill bear market rules. So that's your 50-day uh, moving average and your 2,200-day moving average. Now. If I just enlarge that for you, hopefully you can see it. The market has closed above the 200-day moving average and the 50-day moving average, so it's sort of uh, it's looking a lot better on the all earnings at the moment, and especially so as it's coming into earnings period, um, where where all the companies release their results, and um, and if that market is heading up because of that, then that's really great sign. So it just means that the whole sort of economy is improving, um, at least according to the charts. And uh, you know, as I said, sure short-term basis, still heading up. So guys, I hope that has helped a whole bunch. That We actually covered a, a heck of a lot today <laughs> in such a short time, and I hope it really has helped you um, because there's such a great way to get into the markets and there's always something new to learn and there's always possibly surprises around the corner, which is why you just have to love the markets. It's always good for a bit of fun and hopefully a bit of earnings as well. Now guys, I'll see you next week and uh, we'll check out the markets once again. Thanks very much for stopping by. See you next time.